Hi, I'm Glenn from Kicking Horse Water Services. Here today to talk about wellheads. Um, this one's a, a typical wellhead you'd find in your backyard supplying your house with, uh, with water. This particular wellhead is um, a few different things I want to point out that are wrong with it. Um, number one, um, it's not far enough out of the ground. It should be a minimum of 12 inches above ground. And that's just in case uh, of um, water getting into it and uh, um, for visualization purposes too, they should be a little higher. <coughs> um, this cap is not a, a sealed invented cap. They're not used anymore. You may see them around still and, and more than likely you probably have this tile on your well. Um, this rope is what is used to put a liner in the well. When they drill the well, they, if it's in a bedrock well, which was, this one is, they uh, will put a PVC four inch liner on the inside of it. And um, that's just because they drill an open hole and it keeps the bore wall from collapsing on top of your pump. So uh, we're gonna remove the cap on this. This cap was never tightened down properly. There are these, these little set screws in here that go on and they set in here to keep the cap tight so the kids, and somebody can't drop rocks down on top of your pump, damage the well. <coughs> so all it is here is, there's generally a, a mechanical protected PVC that comes up here, or steel pipe to protect these wires that goes into this cap too. Um, again, this isn't properly done because the, there's no way of actually sealing this against the casing. This casing was just cut off with a torch and it's very rough and, and sharp around the edges. So what can happen here? In this case, there's two different things that can go wrong. Um, in this one, I just noticed the wire here. It's, it's just about bared through from rubbing on the top here. That can cause an electrical short and it can energize the casing cause some problems in that regard. Um, so this rope is just tied off again on the top here. Uh, over time it'll weather and it's very sharp here and if this drops down between the liner and the bore wall that can cause a lot of problems as well. Um, the electrical connections, um, they're done with marrets which is fine. Um, I don't suspect that there's any dielectric grease in them, uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, they should be sealed up with vulcanizing tape, taped together um, to keep the moisture out of them and they won't corrode that way and cause problems. Um, this is a, it, this little piece of pipe in here is a pitless handle. In a, in a very shallow well, that's fine. Um, you can kind of reach down inside here and grab a hold of it and pull it out, but if it's any heavier, uh, if it's a deeper well, um, you would never be able to hold it once it came off the pitless. So generally there's a threaded fitting on here that you can thread a T-handle in which goes across the casing. Once you get it off the pitless, then it can't fall down the well on you. Um, I'm talking about pitless adapters now. Uh, I think later on we're going to do a little segment on pitless adapters because there's a lot of people that don't really understand what a pitless adapter is and what its purpose is. So we're going to do a little segment on that. So we'll just put the kind of cap back on this for now and leave it as is. But these, these casings can be upgraded uh, very easily. Um, I do lots of them and uh, bring them up to code and wire them properly and set them up so that they're, uh, they're a better system. Thanks for watching. Hi, Glenn from Kicking Horse Water Services here again. This is a different type of well um, than the previous one we looked at. This one has been done really nicely and properly. Um, it has a, a, a PVC conduit delivering the electrical connections up into the wellhead. Um, the, this is a sealed invented cap. It has a, a gasket down around the bottom here to keep any contaminants out. The, um, it has a well tag on it. If you want to come around here and have a shot of that well tag. It's, uh, the, the well tag, they've been in place for many years now. The, um, it has a, an identification number on it and what that does is it goes into a database and the uh, well owner can look up, if he doesn't have the well log, he can look that up through the database, tells when the well was drilled, who it was drilled for and who drilled the well, uh, has the lithology report which means the, uh, the formation that it was drilled through, um, depth to water and so on. Lots of information on a well log, very handy thing to have. So we'll just pop this cap off here. This one hasn't been tightened down real tight. So 
we'll just pop this off and we'll have a look inside here and show you how the connections have been done. So there's another rubber gasket around here. This one's been done very nicely. The wires come up through the conduit over the top. The top of the casing has been ground nice and smooth. No potential for cut wires. Um, the uh, ground is, goes to a grounding terminal. The rope, rather than going over top and has potential to being cut, has been tied off just below this fitting and the uh, excess rope just goes inside here um, just so it doesn't fall down the hole. It won't anyway because there's a, a, a tie off at the bottom. These marrets, there's nothing wrong with these as long as they're done properly. The um, wires are connected in here. There's a dielectric grease that's inside the uh, marrette um, and they're taped off, vulcanizing tape and uh, they're in an upright position um, just in case there's any condensation or something, which there shouldn't be because it's got some vents here. These vent vents are screened so that the, the bugs and, and uh, nothing can get in there. So this one is a, is a very nicely done well. Um, it's nice and clean around the area and um, that would be uh, the best type to see in your yard. Um, if you have one like on the previous video, they can be upgraded. It's not a, it's not a huge process to do them and bring them up to code. Thanks for watching.